Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, agents. I'm Manny Carl, and welcome to another how-to video on Streamlabs OBS. This is the OBS program. It is virtually the same, only Streamlabs has gone ahead, taken the open source software and modified it heavily, and today we're going to go ahead and show you how to set up your first scene. So we're going to be playing some PUBG today, and as you can see, once you open up Streamlabs, if you don't have an account, you're going to need to sign up for an account and go through all that steps. And as you can see, what I'm doing here is I am in the library section. We're going to go ahead and start setting up for our stream today. We are looking at doing a stream of players unknown battlegrounds. So once we do that, we figured it out. We can go through, look at all the filters and basically create a new overlay is what we're going to do. So we're going to take you through the overlay options within the library. Go ahead and look and filter out some content and see if we can find the best overlay that we could possibly find for our content today. And you can match it up with colors and everything from your channel. They're fully customizable. This makes it so much easier than going through and making something in Photoshop or and then pasting it over into OBS. But let's go ahead and check out some of the screens that we have. As you can see, there are numerous amounts of games. We can switch over from first person shooters to uh, specific ones that are related to Rocket League or whatever game that we feel that we want to play. And so look at this. See, here's a here's a player unknown battleground. So we're going to go ahead. We'll open it up and check it out. And as you can see, there are start screens. There are be right back screens. That way you can make sure that your audience is fully entertained at all of the same times. And in later videos, we'll go ahead and show you a little bit more of an advanced way to go ahead and add your own branding to it once you do it so one if you, we don't really like that we're gonna go ahead and back it up and we're gonna go and look at a new filter and see if we can find another one this is the one that we currently were using as you can see it's actually pretty cool it's got some animations to it it's got a nice facial cam this is the one that we originally had done and as you can see these are set up so that your game is uh, or the pieces on the screen are optimized to the game that you're looking for so that you know you're your viewer audience can actually see everything that they need to see at the time. So that's actually a really good bonus to this. And once you do this, you can actually set it up and we'll show you how to set it up in just a moment. And, but what's great about this is you can actually still add in your own elements. So if you want to add in your elements, this is just a flashy way to do it. As you can see, this one's pretty cool. If I was playing like a star Wars game where I was the dark side, this would be perfect for say like star Wars Knights of the old Republic or something like that, where I was, playing like a sith character or something that would be awesome so let's go ahead and take a look at the next screen and see where we want to go because we're looking for a really cool PUBG overlay something you know and normally it doesn't take this long but i'm going through and just filtering out this list for you guys so you guys can see this this one actually looks pretty cool i like it so what we're going to do is we're going to hit install it couldn't be easier once you install it it's actually going to add that now to this screen. It'll take you automatically to the screen. There's my happy shining face right there, as you can see. Uh, and so we're going to go up here and we'll check out, as you can see over here in the screens on the side of the left, there's a start screen, a be right back screen, all of that good stuff that you can do. So now let me adjust myself here and we're going to go in and actually show you the nuts and bolts of how to do it. So as you can see, when we click on this, it highlights our objects on the screen. So we can actually delete and edit those objects as we see fit if we don't like them. And now, as you can see up here, it says your name up at the top. And so we're going to show you how to edit that. And here's the background. This is just the background image that they put there. We're going to go ahead and remove it. It's pretty easy to do. You can actually just make it invisible or you can just remove it altogether. We'll leave it there until we actually get our scene in there. Here's where our subscribers are. And so once you go up there, you can go ahead and highlight your name or you can find it from the area below. And once you do, you're going to hit properties. And once into the property section, it's pretty easy. You want to highlight your name and then put your name in the comment there. That is the easiest way to do it. You're not going to find an easier way to 
you know, to basically do it, you can change the name, color, you can change almost anything, you can change the text, the font style, make it your own. It's actually really easy to do. This is the easiest program I've ever come across, and it's still in the beta phase, and it's absolutely wonderful. It actually has less bugs than Player Unknown Battlegrounds. So we're gonna go ahead and change the name. We got Mounty Curl up there, and as you can see, we're ready to stream basically. Uh, what we do need to do is go to our other screens and uh, do that. But first, well, actually, we need to uh, fix a couple things. So go back into properties. I don't really like that color. It doesn't really fit. Or eh, eh, well, let's just go down and see what else we got. So by now, we need to go ahead and set up a new scene. So let's go ahead and click on the plus marker. And we're going to show you how to set up a new scene with the background window. And because we don't have player unknowns playing on our screen for some reason. So we're gonna need to go ahead and open that up. So what we wanna do is go ahead and click on that and click add the source. So we're gonna add the source and that's not what I wanna do. Let me, let me back out and go back in. That's not what I wanna do. I wanna add a scene. So we're gonna add a scene and I wanna add a game capture. So we're gonna click on the game capture here and that should be good. There we go. And now we're gonna go ahead and we can rename that to Player Unknown Game Capture uh, or whatever we want to name it to. So we're just gonna name it PUBG. Click OK. And now we're gonna go ahead and select the window. And it is the third middle window right here. And once we do that, we're gonna. Oh no, that's not the window. Sorry. This is the window. There we go. Boom. Now we are ready to go. But as you can see. It actually just put it on top of everything. So where did our overlay go? So what you need to do is drag and drop this all the way to the bottom where it says background and place it over the background. And as you can see, all, everything is overlaid. We are now rolling here. We are, we are set for being able to get our stream up and running if you don't know. So there we have it. You have everything there that you need. It's very basic. So you can take and move these elements around. As you can see, our chat box here is actually over some of the menu elements. That doesn't really matter. But if you wanted to move it, you can move it just like that. It's super easy to do. This program can't be easier for novice streamers. Uh, it takes a lot of the uh, creativity out of having, uh, for lack of a better word, for having to go through and create and experiment with different overlays and whatnot for this. This is one of the best programs that I've seen so far. It makes it super easy. And so let me go ahead and just go through this stream starting soon screen. This is actually going to be a chat box. So you need to go ahead and name your name on all of these screens. So we're gonna go ahead and put Mounty Curl on this screen here. And then we, you can have your Instagram account, you got your YouTube account, you got your Twitter account. You can actually change those. Very easy to swap those in and out. If you want your Facebook account up there, you can do that. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and put Gun Brothers Gaming here because that is our YouTube channel. And we're ready to roll. We're ready to stream. So let me go ahead and add our Twitter account as well because... You know, we need our Twitter account up there just so you know who you're, you know, if you want to go follow me on Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter as you can see here. It, this is going to be my Twitter account. It is at Gum Brothers YT. The YT stands for YouTube. I don't know why I threw that in there because Gum Brothers probably was taken, probably. I don't know. But as you can see, and then we go to this page here, there's my smiling mug again. And uh, these numbers shouldn't be here, they're out there, but you can move those up as well. And then you got your name here. And we need to change that to Mounty Carl because that's who I am. And you want to make sure that that is on all of your names. And we'll show you how to add branding later in a, in a future video. We're trying to do this helpful video series. And uh, it might just happen to uh, come up rather quickly right after this video if you wait around for a little bit. So now that we pretty much got everything going, we can go ahead and uh, as you can see, we got all of our stuff here. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, just uh, take a look at some of this other stuff here while we're waiting. And I think that we are pretty much good to go for our stream today. I think I've got all of this stuff all set. As you notice, you can click on the stuff. It'll highlight it in the area that it is in. So if you want to swap it out, if you don't know where an item is or something like that, uh, you can just highlight it and click on it and go to it there and swap the scene out. If you don't like this, say like you set it up, you can go back in the library and just reload a new one. Uh, there will be plenty more. There's record button, there's your go live button, and there's your test your widget. So you can actually just click on each of these, your super, your subscribe, your sponsor, your donation, and your super chat. All that stuff will pop up in the window. As you can see, it pops up in the middle there. So 
we're are we are good basically for hitting the stream and getting things started today. So I want to first of all, and you can go to live here and show you all your live stuff. It'll show you all your subscribers and stuff like that as they come online. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, go ahead and drop a like on this video and spread the word to all of your friends who are looking into getting streaming. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and we'll put a download link in the comment section or in the description below and we'll be good to go and ready to rock. And hopefully you found this to be helpful and we'll get this going. Don't forget put your stream key in right here uh, that's what you want to do you want to put your stream key in make sure you're on the right ingest server and we're gonna go up here we'll make sure there's lots of choices to choose from everything from twitch to the popular stuff uh, all the way down to restream.io if you don't know what restream is restream will actually stream it to all of your twitch and youtube accounts that way you can just go ahead and make sure that everybody is being able to see you at the same time so there you have it anyways i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna go ahead and show you a few more things while i'm talking but thank you so much for viewing this video drop a like subscribe do all that stuff we're gonna have more of these stream obs videos to get you up and streaming uh the best thing that i can offer you is advice on your stream and getting you set up and making it so that you have an easier time streaming but for all of us here at gum brothers gaming thank you so much for watching i am mounty carl and we'll see you in the next video agent out